What the hell do you think hey, you're hey, doing, hey, hey. Diane? Son, sit down. How could you do this to me? Please, please, please. Davis, you've please. already been admonished no, to control I'm... your client. Okay, I'm right ready. now. I apologize, Your Honor. Move, move. Ms. Miller? Your Honor, the petitioner's claim rests on the presumption that Kate Howard suffers from DID and that my client, Connie Falconeri Zakara, is Kate Howard's so-called alter ego when in fact the opposite is true. The personality known as Kate Howard is the alter and the woman that you see here before you is the true and original persona. Wait, so what she's saying is the- Spell out for you, kid. Kate Howard doesn't exist. I'm the real deal. What? You need to shut You need to relax. Down. I mean it. Right now. Your Honor, I offer into evidence the birth certificate for one Constanza Louise Falconeri, my client's original given name, and proof indeed that she is actually the host personality. Your Honor, opposing counsel is playing a game of semantics. No one is denying the fact that, that Miss Miller's client was given the birth name Constanza Falconeri. No one's denying that she changed it to Kate Howard when she went to Princeton. Excellent. We can all go home. <laughs> Kate Howard graduated from Princeton. Kate Howard is the one that built her reputation in the fashion publishing business. When Kate Howard's personality split, her altar went with Kate Howard's birth name. That altar, Connie Falconeri, is a danger to herself and to others. Your Honor, it is no coincidence that Kate Howard, albeit respected fashion editor that she is, appeared in the world when she did. Dissociative identity disorder often requires a traumatic event to trigger it, and said event actually happened to my client. That's right, Your Honor. I was raped by Joseph Scully, Jr. Ms. Miller, it's your turn to restrain your client. If these outbursts continue, it will reflect badly on both attorneys. Is that clear? Yes, Your it's Honor, that is clear, clear Ms. Miller, skip the hyperbole and make your point. As a result of this rape, Connie Falconeri's psyche fractured, allowing the Kate Howard personality to emerge. Your Honor, Ms. Miller has spun this diagnosis in a, in a complete 180. It says right here in the psychiatric report. This report is highly technical. I'd like to ask the psychiatrist a few questions. I'm afraid that is impossible because the psychiatrist is unfortunately deceased. The psychiatrist, Dr. Ewan Keenan, was killed by gunshot wound after he had taken a young mother hostage at gunpoint. Objection, prejudicial. He also aided and abetted Jerry Jacks in holding this entire town under siege and under the threat of death. Objection, assuming facts that aren't in evidence. The PCPD has ample proof of Dr. Keenan's criminal activities. In fact, were he not dead, he would be standing trial today. He was clearly unbalanced. Objection and irrelevant, Your Honor. Overruled, sustained, sustained. Ms. Davis, convince me not to throw this report out. Your Honor, when Dr. Keenan was treating Kate Howard, he had a very good reputation with the medical community. His diagnosis, his treatment, they were all valid. In fact, he was so committed to working with Ms. Howard that he continued the therapy, even though the, the altar assaulted him, leaving him with a head trauma that required surgery. Hey, aren't you gonna object? Absolutely not. I want it on record that Dr. Keenan compiled this report after sustaining a massive head trauma. Wow. She's good. Forget Keenan, we'll get another shrink. Well, just, review, you know, have him review the case, that's it. I am so glad that you said that. How do you... With the court's permission, I now call Dr. Nicole Maybrick to the stand. I'll allow it. She's a Rhenish shrink. She'll testify to anything for a buck. I swear. Did you know about this? What am I saying? Of course you did. Dr. Maybrick, based on your analysis, who is Kate Howard? Kate Howard was a personality created by the young Connie Falconeri to cope with the trauma of being raped and the unwanted pregnancy resulting from that rape. I'm sorry. Your Honor, I wanted to keep the kid. Kate was the one who didn't want it. No, 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 Your Honor, I'm sorry, but that, that is a lie. Okay, this person, Connie looked me in the eyes and told me I wanted to abort you. Objection, Your Honor. I am trying to question a witness. Sustained. Please strike Mrs. Zakara and Mr. Mitchell's comments. There will be no further outbursts from anyone. Dr. Maybrick, continue. The Kate personality was cool and aloof, shielding the subject from harm. What were to happen if the Kate Howard personality were to disappear entirely? The subject would be considered integrated. 
that is whole. Precisely the result that Miss Davis' client seeks to achieve. Thank you so much. No further questions. Dr. Maybrick, have you ever personally treated Connie Falconeri or Kate Howard? No, but I... Well, thank you. That's, uh, that's all I need. Thank you so much. If there's nothing else, I'm ready to rule on uh, the matter. Uh, yes, actually, Your Honor, there is. The charges against Kate Howard were dropped for the murders of Cole and Hope Thornhart because Connie Falconeri committed the crime, and it was believed at the time that Connie Falconeri was the altar. So if that is, is the case, and, and Connie Falconeri is the host, then we feel that she should be held accountable for her crimes. So we would need to contact the appropriate authorities who may want to refile the charges and prosecute Connie Falconeri for a double homicide. Well, you can't do that. I never, I never shot anybody. No, I'm not gonna sit down, Johnny. I never fired a gun in my life, and that's a gun honest truth. Your Honor, it's a matter of record that Connie Falconeri shot out the tires that caused the accident resulting in the deaths of Hope and Cole Thornhart. Oh, yes, says who? You did. You told me you did it. I did not say that. Your Honor, if I may, Mr. Uh, Corinthos, were there any witnesses to this alleged confession? Oh, no, Diane. Thank you. Hearsay. Okay, if you didn't do it, Connie, who did it? Uh, who else? Connie. Kate! That's a lie, because Kate hated God. You don't know Kate. You don't know anything about Kate. Your Honor, Kate killed those kids, then she turned on the waterworks so they could blame me. She knew what she was you doing do not, the whole time. You do not get to Don't take over your finger at me, Sonny. No, no you listen to me. Order. 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 Get in your chair right now. Miss Davis, Miss Miller, for the very last time, get your clients under control or I will cite you all for contempt. I'm ready. Ready, I'm ready, ready Your Honor. Ready. And I apologize. Your Honor, ready. This hearing was convened for one purpose, to review the petition presented by Trey Mitchell to have his mother committed to a mental institution. I am ready to rule on the matter. Okay. The petitioner has provided no conclusive evidence that Costanza Falconeri Zakara is currently a danger to herself or to others. As such, there is no conclusive evidence to support Mr. Mitchell's contention that she be institutionalized. Therefore, the plaintiff's petition is denied. <laughs> Denied. I mean, it's pretty Not obvious here. she's Not sick. Court is adjourned. All rise. Oh, let's get out of here and celebrate. Yeah, it's been a day. What are you looking at? I wish I knew. Come on, let's get out of here. What happened to you? What happened to me? Everyone is entitled to the best defense possible, Alexis. Kate is your friend, and you know that she's sick. The way the system works is that both attorneys try to do the best job possible, and today I just happen to do mine better. That, that's, that's it? Huh? That, that woman? My mother just continues to, to go out there freely and, and hurt whoever she wants? I'm afraid so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I could think of something else to do, I would do it. You, there isn't anything else you could do anymore, and I don't think there's anything else I can do anymore. Can you